Hello Shelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I am really ex excited today as I am going to be reviewing uh, Kiki London's much sought after uh, new uh, lamp uh, and I'm really really excited about it so let's get into it. So before I actually get into the review, I just want to bring some things to your attention. So when you do come onto the website, you will notice that this lamp is out of stock at the moment. They are expecting to be restocking in the middle of June. Um, but you are going to need to um, get on their waiting list if you're going to want to get your hands on this lamp anytime soon. So you're going to need to email Kiki London at info at kikilondon.co.uk and you then you need to uh, sort of put the subject as reserve deluxe lamp you're going to need to give them your name your email address and the country in which the lamp is going to be delivered so i would appreciate it if you could click the link in the description box below that way that kiki london can kind of keep tabs of how many um, sales have been generated through my reviews which i'd really appreciate um, i do have a 10 percent discount code as well which is jellulicious so once it's back in stock they will contact you and uh, if you're still interested in the lamp, obviously, they will apply my discount code and invoice you and get it sent out to you. Now, because there is such a huge demand for this lamp, um, they are giving the priority to all of the customers on the waiting list before customers are going to be able to purchase it via the website. But if you're not bothered about that, you don't want it as soon as possible, then you can just come on and enter your email address here. And what that will do is they'll notify you when it's back on stock on their website. So hopefully that will make sense. If it doesn't, then let, just let, leave me a comment in the comments box below and I will hopefully clear um, any uh, confusion up for you. So this is the first thing out of the box. So this is obviously a UK plug. You can get an EU plug, but you do need to request that. Um, and also as well, you can get a longer lead if you if you need to. Like mine, I've just got it standard. I didn't ask for it to be extended because it's fine. But if you need a longer one, you can request that. So I'm just going to get it out of the box. And while I'm on that subject, the box that this is in is not going to be the box that you will get. We've just got a generic box because unfortunately they've had an issue with the supplier. Um, so they're hoping to get their new boxes in with the new delivery. Um, so you'll receive a different uh, box to what I've got. Not that I'm bothered. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it does have a very basic, very simple user manual. Um, but I'm going to be taking you through the process of how to use this lamp um which you know is is very sort of self-explanatory kind of thing so let me get this out of here so i literally i haven't even played with this i didn't even get it out of the box until just then i kind of wanted to experience this with you of the excitement of receiving the lamp so just excuse me while i take forever to get it out of the bubble wrap so i just love this sort of like uh, the, the look of the lamp in itself um, obviously it's going to be bigger than a normal lamp because it is a dual handed uh, dry time lamp so let me just move stuff around here so if you just turn it round here so you have got this part of it is touch screen so you're going to need to press this for the timers so, so, so there are four timer settings as you can see here and um, that vary from 10 seconds right up to 99 seconds low heat mode which is going to be great for your builder gels and your poly gels so you're not going to get those heat spikes so um it does come with a removable base so that's great if you want to do your toes or if you just want to keep it clean and it is magnetic as well so you are going to be able to reconnect it um, very simply so here are all of the gorgeous led lamps sorry lights so there's 48 in total um it means that basically you're not going to get any dead zones you're going to get full coverage and obviously it's a 96 watt lamp as well so it's going to be a faster curing time so it's just a better lamp all the way around so just ignore me here while I take forever over the simplest of tasks, which is to insert the power cable. So I, was, I wasn't sure, it was like a little bit stiff. So it was back to how I originally thought it was to be. So I placed that in. You don't need to push it right in. 
okay so don't worry about it flickering it doesn't flicker in real life it's obviously just affected with my camera so watch this jelly babes let me just get into position how beautiful does this look are you ready <gasps> oh it's so gorgeous isn't that so beautiful i love that pink glow uh, it's not harmful to your eyes or anything else like that so you don't need to worry about like no don't look at the light don't look at the light that only applies if you're a moth <laughs> um so yeah so i love this and i love the fact that it's a dual handed uh dry time because that is obviously going to speed up the whole process if you can put both your hands in at time having said that i would only cure my eight fingers in one go and then i do my thumbs separately so with the 10 30 and 60 seconds you can see that it counts down um but with the low heat mode it counts up from 1 to 99 and then it will go off so that's all how it should be so i just wanted to highlight that to you so i did have their old lamp so i'm going to do a little bit of a comparison so obviously it's quite a different shape and size um this was so annoying i did this not long after having it um, i'm very messy as you can see i don't know what's the matter with me i should put more effort in and basically i got some mess on it i got some acetone and went to wipe it off and it just took some of the name off and i was so mortified so i will know not to do that with the new lamp i'm not even testing whether you can or not it's gonna just not do that so this is my setup so you can see how close this cable is so it can go down here you can see it hangs down and it's the first plug there um so that was absolutely fine no issue i can place it where i want but like i say if you're going to need a, it to go a little bit further then you can request a longer cable so i am not getting rid of this lamp because it's no good i'm still very very happy with it but it was just the um it was just a better quality lamp the new lamp so i thought why not and i did like the dual handed cure time as well so with this one obviously it's just kind of like half the size basically so this one um as you can see it just highlights more mess so i'm going to learn from this not to put the tray on when i am curing any um pop sticks so if i take the top off this will just show you a uh, more easier how much more you're going to be able to cure in one go so i've got 10 pop sticks here which are nicely spaced out and once the lamp goes on top you know it's going to be fully cured there's going to be no dead zones or anything like that um so i'm really excited so i'm just going to show you obviously how much i could get with my old lamp so bear with me two seconds so with the old lamp i could only get five on comfortably and, and cure in that time so you're basically getting double the amount of uh, pop stick space which oh that's just music to my ears Joe, if you've got loads of swatches just being able to put this in especially with the faster drying time you're going to be able to just fly through your swatches um, which is just going to make the process a, a whole lot nicer so like i said i'm going to learn from the next time so for me i've just put on an old lamp underneath so if, if anything gets cured to that i'm not going to be that bothered so i will be removing the base whenever i'm doing any pop sticks so as well um you're going to be able to put this type of stand in now with my old lamp i had to actually take one of these off it didn't all fit in i could only cure four at a time um, but you can see that this has got more than enough space to cover everything and you may be i didn't test it and i don't know why i think i just forgot in the end <laughs> but maybe obviously dependent on the size of the fake nails that you're going to be using um maybe you'll be able to put two in and cure that um at the same time but i'm not sure so i don't really know why i've put this in because i haven't actually told you anything so i'm going to be testing out some different brands i'm not just going to be using kiki london so i'm going to be using some of madame glam's polishes obviously some from kiki london including their builder gel i'm going to be testing that out for the heat spikes and some of model one's polishes as well so the first um, brand I'm going to be testing is Madame Glam. So if you're a Madame Glam user, you'll know that these are cured in 30 seconds normally, which is fabulous, especially if you're used to everything being cured in one minute. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it and see whether it will dry in 10 seconds. How amazing will that be if it cures in 10 seconds? It's probably been a little bit greedy, but I'm just going to test it out. So I'll pop that in there for 10 seconds. It's so exciting so here we go is it dry so uh, you're just showing you i was so so shocked at this point i couldn't believe it i just kept touching it going no it's not cured in 10 seconds seriously 
that's just so amazing i can't believe it so that it's bone dry in 10 seconds so i am just over the moon with that so the next one i'm going to be testing out is kiki london's and it's honey bee now this one uh, in the old lamb i did have some issues with it that it would kind of shrink if i put it on too thickly you do have that with some of the yellow polishes i don't know why it does that but with some it will react and you can have shrinkage which you can get with the white one as well but obviously i didn't get that with madame glam so i'm going to cure this for 30 seconds normally it would take one minute and you can see that it's completely dry in 30 seconds. So I am so excited. So um, I'm gonna see whether this will be cured in 10 seconds and see whether it's not gonna have any shrinkage. So let me just put it on here, so 10 seconds. I mean, I will be amazed if this is cured in 10 seconds. So I started off and I touched it and it looked like, you know, it was all good. And then I got to the edge and then I was like, oh, hang on a minute. So I'm just going to try and zoom in. I don't know whether you can see it, but it was kind of gathering and it was basically preparing to shrink. Um, so I put it straight back in the lamp and put it on for a full 30 second cure. Um, so obviously what I'd take from this is that if your polish normally takes you one minute to cure with this, you're going to be able to cure it in 30 seconds. If it normally takes 30 seconds, you're going to be able to cure it in 10 seconds. So you are actually curing your, you are getting a, a quicker cure time, but I think 10 seconds when it would normally take one minute is probably being a little bit too greedy. But I just wanted to try it and test it because you don't know if you don't try. So I was so relieved when that came out and it hadn't uh, shrunk. So I was pleased with that. So yeah, so I definitely keep any anything that's normally one minute to a 30 second cure time. But you've still shedded like 30 seconds off your cure time, which is just amazing. So I'm going to go back to Madame Glam now. So some of the black polishes, again, the darker polishes, they can have some curing issues and start to shrink. Now, I just want to add, I didn't ha have this with Madame Glam before with the old Kiki London lamp, so I'm not expecting it anymore with this one. But I am just going to put it in for that 10 seconds and let's see how we go with this. So this is 10 seconds, so um, you can see there it's completely dry. There is nothing on my glove, nothing's transferred across. So yes, yeah, so I was really pleased with that. So going back to Kiki London now, so this is just a dark green. Again, like I say, some of the darker colours, you can have some curing issues. So I'm just going to test this and I'm going to put it in for the full 30 second cure. Um, I'm not expecting it to have any issues because obviously with the yellow one there wasn't any issues. So that was 30 seconds and you can see it's cured absolutely fine. So I'm really, really excited about this. So moving on now to Model 1s. So Model 1s normally cure within um, one minute. So I'm going to test these out with a 30 second cure time. So there you go, so moment of truth. As I expected, it is completely dry after 30 seconds. So all oh, that's great. So I'm really pleased that it works across multiple brands that I've used so far, and you're kind of getting a consistent um, finish with it. Um, so this is probably gonna be great if you've got some of those problem polishes that you always seem to have issues with um, working with. So hopefully this will uh, resolve any of those issues for you. So let's just, observe how beautiful that purple polish is i don't even know why i don't use that more in my nail designs it's so gorgeous so again 30 seconds absolutely fine and um, obviously i'll show you at the end to see whether it did start shrinking afterwards but i'm not expecting that to be perfectly honest so i moved on and i thought it'd be a good idea to see whether if because obviously with madame glam especially because they cure in 10 seconds now <laughs> that's so cool I'm wondering whether I'm going to be able to keep that cat eye look, that sharp look for longer. So I'm just going to uh, place the, the magnet on it for 10 seconds. I'm going to just put it straight in and start the curing process. So there you go. Bring this out after 10 seconds. Oh, let me just get rid of that fluff. So you can see that that is super sharp, which I'm really, really pleased about. 
so for this i'm not planning to put this on my own nails um but i am going to uh, just do a little test for the heat spike now things that can cause heat spike it not, might not necessarily be the polish it can be down to over buffing your nails when you prep it so don't over buff your nails because what that will do is cause friction and that can cause heat spikes so i'm just doing a rough buff <laughs> um like I say, I'm not um, applying a base coat because I'm not intending to keep this on. I've literally just removed my old nails, which took forever. So I'm not in a hurry to do my nails again uh, at the moment. Okay, so I'm just going to apply a thin layer of this. Obviously, you don't want to put it on dead thick. Uh, just because it's low heat mode doesn't mean that if you put it on thick you're going to avoid that heat spike so just apply it like you would a normal polish it's thicker than a normal polish anyway so just have a quick look make sure you've got everything i'm just going to go over that last little bit you can't really see what the issue is but i'm just smoothing it all out so let's pop this into the lamp so I've, obviously i'm going to click the low heat mode so what happens with the low heat mode is it basically it kind of like increases the power in stages so it's obviously a low heat when you start then i think after about 20 to 30 seconds the light the light will get a little bit brighter and then that's intensified the power and basically that's what it does so instead of putting your nail in and it's like full-on power um it's going to do it in stages and i can i can say honestly i didn't get any heat spikes it didn't really heat up at all um but i did have this happen and i started to have a little meltdown i was like what how is this not cured like in my old lamp this would be cured in 99 seconds so like, i'll put it back in for the 60 seconds and then when it came back out it had done it exactly the same um as you can see uh that it was still it seemed like it hadn't dried and i was like what is going on so i thought right is it that it hasn't dried or is it that because it's like a builder gel it's super super sticky so i actually wiped it off and you can see now that it is completely dry that builder gel is still on it but that what was transferring was it was just really sticky um which shows it's stickier than normal but it was completely dry um so i totally messed that up but i just wanted it was cured obviously in that 99 seconds and i didn't have any heat spikes um which i was super pleased about but i didn't get any heat spikes in the old lamp either um but yeah i just wanted to clear that up so that is the review done this was how all of the polishes looked at the end so you can see that there was no shrinkage even after some um uh, with the testing of the cure times so i just can't recommend this lamp enough um it's so many cool features i'm blown away by the fact that it's you know if it's a 30 second polish normally that you can cure it within 10 seconds i haven't got any shrinkage of polish uh, porridge <laughs> polish either um i love the fact that it's dual handed and you can cure both of your hands in at the same time and obviously um you can just put your hand in and the lights will automatically come on and it will just start uh, curing as well um so hopefully i've answered everything that you're going to want to know i will put some of the features on at the end of this video so you you know you can just pause it or have a look through it just a reminder of some of the features of the lamp so like i say make sure you get your name on the waiting list and um, because there's going to be a high demand for this um i can't recommend it enough this wasn't sent to me for review by the way i did purchase this out of my own money uh, it's 100 percent honest review of the product um and for the price which i think is it 40 pounds you're getting an absolute bargain for that kind of price for this quality of lamp um so like i say if you've got any queries just drop them in the comments box below and i'll do my best to get back to you with any um questions that you uh, may be wondering if i haven't covered it for whatever reasons so thank you so much for watching jelly babes if you're new to the miss if you're new to this and you love nail art related things then please press that free subscribe uh, button my channel is all about nails and i would love um for you to join the jelly babe community so until next time jelly babes take care bye <laughs>